But first, a Northern Virginia judge has ruled against Governor Youngkin's mask order that makes masks optional in schools. The judge sided with seven school districts that sued Governor Youngkin. This means those districts can make their own decisions when it comes to masks. For now, Mike Valerio has followed this big story all night long. And Mike, you're getting some new reaction to this decision, right? Well, Lorenzo, that's right. But first, the attorney general's office says it is disappointed with the ruling and lawyers for Governor, Governor Yunkin are preparing to appeal an emotion, Lorenzo, though, uniting everybody in this debate tonight. Exhaustion. My kids can no longer be in a mask. We met Haley and her two boys last week as Stafford School Board voted to defy the governor's order, keeping masks for all in the classroom. Today, a judge sided with that move. What are you thinking as you hear this news? Tell me about it. I'll tell you I'm exhausted. I am for less government. I am for the fact that I'm an adult, I'm a parent, and I can gather all the information and that I can make decisions for myself and for my family. I'm very pleased. Um, and I'm cautiously optimistic. Stella Pekarski is chair of the Fairfax County School Board, one of seven districts suing Governor Yunkin. A judge in Arlington ruled today, Mr. Yunkin cannot override the school board's decisions. That's the cornerstone of our democracy, right? I mean, that separation of powers, that constitutional authority that is vested in locally elected officials. Bernadette has a senior in Spotsylvania schools, which now leaves masking up to parents. Bernadette disagrees with that, but says the parents she knows feel compassion for one another as they try to protect their kids. That's a hard thing because everybody is really nervous. Everybody's really scared and they're the right to be scared. We're surging right now in Spotsylvania. Um, but it's also important to realize that we can't be masked forever. We are at some point going to have to come out with some reasonable policy solutions so that we can, you know, serve the best interests of teaching along with protecting everybody's health. Okay, so tonight it is not clear if the ruling applies across Virginia or in the just seven school districts that sued. So we're talking about Alexandria, Arlington, Fairfax County, Falls Church, Prince William, City of Richmond and Hampton. More clarity is expected in the days ahead, Lorenzo. Well, one thing we know for sure, this is not the end. Mike, thank you.